What's up fam, Boy G here, back in another video. Today we're going to unbox and set this up. This is Deep Cool Vertical GPU Bracket, right? For graphics card adapter, it says. Of course, for a video card. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just bought this from Lazada and thought it will be interesting to set my 9070 into a vertical mounting. But what do you guys think? Um, I'm actually not sure if it's going to be good. That's why we're creating this video. That's, that's why we're going to install this. But right now, I have this on traditional horizontal mounting. We're going to run some tests right in Formark. Run it for about five minutes, maybe, just to see what is the maximum temperature that the GPU uh, will get, right? As, as well as the hotspot and the memory temperature. And then we're going to install it vertically using this deep cool vertical gpu bracket and then run the similar test five minutes in firemark and see if it's if there's any improvement or anything right but before that let's go ahead and unbox this real quick i purchased this from lasada quite cheap right there's a lot more expensive uh brackets out there but i'm gonna tell you why i chose this one specifically not because of the price, maybe that's one factor. But one thing that I actually prefer, I want on this one, is its simplicity, right? So you only have, um, you know, manual there, some paperwork. You also have some screws, so that's good installed there. But if you check this out, there's just this PCIe uh, 4, by the way, right? This is version 4. PCIe 4 uh, riser cable that you've got there or essentially this is the one that you will plug in to your um, PCIe there, right? Where the GPU is um, mounted right now. I'm gonna plug this in and this will fall on the bottom, right? It's kind of like foldable this way. And then you're going to mount the GPU here. Now, if you notice, very simple, right? I even kind of like this one is even like bigger on my taste. I would have preferred really small uh, PCB here just just this one because I want the fan on if you notice on this is h6 uh, Flow by the way from NZXT. I have two 140 millimeters intake fan on the bottom right right now They're directly blowing um, cold air right from air conditioning on my room towards that uh, GPU and if I purchase for example, I've seen a couple right there's Lee and Lee there's Pantech, but the most popular uh, popular one is, I think, from Cooler Master. But Cooler Master is quite big, and it's basically going to cover the first fan there on the bottom, right? Um, making the intake fan useless, right? Because there's a huge steel here, there's a huge bracket everywhere still, obstructing a lot of airflow there, and possibly causing the GPU not to be able to breathe. Right, if you know what I mean. That's why I purchased this one because this is very simple. You only have that, as a matter of fact, on the bottom and then nothing else, right? So your GPU will essentially float, right? Which for me, it's not really a problem because if you notice there, I do have a bracket, right? As you can see, we'll check that later on. But I do have a, uh, a holder, right? I stand for GPU. So that I will still use that because I love that, absolutely love that very discreet, it's not that obvious, it's also magnetic. So what I'm gonna do is install this just simply on the left side, like so, right? And then um, as soon as I install that like this, I'm going to install the GPU and make it as simple as possible on the bottom. So all of the intake air will still flow towards the GPU. That's actually my original intention. Um, you know, for to increase performance, but again, we'll test it out later on if there's any improvement at all. So that is the deep cool riser, very, very simple. No obstruction in the airflow underneath. But let's, let me go ahead and run some tests on Formark here and see the hottest temperature that we're gonna get. All right, so we got the Formark running on this now. Uh, I just initialized this, so let's go ahead and check the temperature and then we'll uh, test it later on. What's the maximum one that we're gonna get? I'm just zoom it a little bit there. All right, so right now we're kind of getting. So again, that's Fermark burn in test, uh, 1440p. 
just about 1 minute and 15 seconds getting around 190 fps and yeah okay so amd radeon rx 9070 so if you check it out the gpu load is around 98 99 and the temp is 53 right which is not bad it's actually pretty cold and uh, 54 uh on my experience right gaming and cyberpunk and uh, everything else it actually like max is at 55 and it doesn't go past that it's amazing of a gpu so right now it's 54 i reckon it's gonna go to uh, 55 and stay there so as you can see gpu is 54c right climbed up from 36 and it's kind of like staying there now again my ambient temperature in my room is 24 uh or sorry 20 degrees celsius let me see if i can get that remote yeah we're, we're on 20 right now on my air conditioning here we'll run this for five minutes and compare it's now running around three minutes so two more minutes and we'll do the same testing uh once we already put this baby on vertical right now Again, it's still on horizontal. 20 degrees Celsius for the ambient temp. And right now it's just 55. So this is also uh, the one that I'm experiencing. It's just maxing at 55 degrees Celsius and doesn't really go past that. Maybe 56 at times, but I never reached 60. This Radeon um, 9070, right? RX 9070 is freaking efficient right really really power efficient and really really good in temperature uh this is the gigabyte one as you notice gigabyte gaming oc so it's also factory overclocked already a little bit but yeah let's see um currently temperature is 55 running around um 2100 um, megahertz there and 1440p again it's reaching around 190 so it's maxing around 190 fps right on this kind of like test and one more minute we'll be done with this all right we're now exactly five minutes running and as you can see this is still on vertical or horizontal mounting cpu is just 45 there but the temperature is now 56 right so it kind of like climbed to 56 but that's basically it like flat lining on 56 and that is the maximum temperature you're gonna get the gpu temp is again 55 56 as we noticed earlier gpu hotspot is 75 and then the gpu memory is 86 so the gpu memory is actually kind of higher right on my liking uh on this per mark test this is now running around seven minutes now but the GPU hotspot maximum is 75, GPU temp is 55, and memory temp is 85, right? I, I believe maxed out 86. So let me go ahead and now proceed with our installation. So uh, I'm gonna tear this apart. I just removed the glass panel and remove the GPU, put it on the vertical um, mounting, and then see if that is better. I'll be right back. All right, let's turn it on for the first time. Oh, it looks clean, okay. I'm lacking RGB on the actual fans, right? It's got like the only one that doesn't have any RGB, but it's fine. You can see a little bit of pass through there. There's RGB in the back. And again, super clean. Again, this is H6 Flow, right? NZXT, H6 Flow and let's go ahead and put the glass panel here a lot of clearance on the glass right uh the, this deep cool one is really good because it's also deep on the case as you can see it's right in the middle closer to motherboard so it's very far from the glass panel of the case itself pretty cool let me go ahead and run for mark as usual for five, eight minutes like what we did earlier and see if there's any difference in the performance. It looks very weird, but it's like, it's it's, uh, it's, it's very stealth. Uh, it doesn't have any RGB and it's the only one that doesn't have any RGB, so it's actually noticeable. But yeah, it looks good, right? So 
let me run the fur mark here and inspect for about five minutes or so what will be the temperature we are still on 20 degree uh ambient temp as you can see like earlier right it's just the same thing I haven't changed anything here um just the mounting of the gpu uh let's inspect right now that we just run it from the first time so fur mark is running about a minute there right for 40 50 seconds fps is still the same 189 190 i think that's already like the maximum one but uh temperature it says is 54 right so it's exactly the same earlier we maxed at 56 so we'll see if that will actually exceed that because that will tell us that the vertical mounting is worse but right now it already reached 55 and i think that's worse right um so oh okay so we have the bottom here we can monitor it here i think that's better um let me just run it for five minutes here again this is on vertical mounting and we're getting around 56 degrees celsius right now if that reaches 60 i'm gonna have to put it back to what it was before <laughs> i'm not gonna like it but right now it's exactly the same as we had earlier 56 for hot spot it is 76 degrees celsius it's also the same as before and the memory temp is 85 i remember we had 86 before so it's it's actually the same exactly the same so let's uh leave it for about five minutes here and come back to see if it's gonna be hotter oh actually i think it's a little bit worse right i can see that the gpu temp it's now reaching 57 so let me see if we can get that closer it's not even five minutes yet right it's just about three minutes right now but the temperature already reached 57 so that is one degree hotter already let's see if it's even going to be worse than that because again if it's gonna be worse super hot I will probably put it back to what it was because I also had to do a little bit of compromise, which is the uh, SSD. I cannot really install everything there. So I had to uh, do a little bit of compromise. I had to remove one of my 256 gigabyte SSD, right? That is mounted on a PCIe bracket, PCIe adapter that is very thick. So I had to remove that because it's interfering on the back, right? But right now, um, it looks like that and it's reaching 57 so it's not as bad but again if it reached 60 I'll probably put it back but it's running uh, four minutes right now uh, let me leave it for a couple of minutes more and see if it can go way above 57 it's 57 degrees Celsius right now all right so we're getting about five minutes now and temperature is exactly the same. I'm a little bit surprised. I thought it's gonna be worse or it's gonna be um, better, but let me zoom that a little bit. As you can see here, five minutes, five seconds there and running. FPS is exactly the same, 189. Actually, it's a little bit lower, right? Earlier, if I remember, oh no, it's exactly the same. Earlier, it's 189, 190 as well. I think that's just the maximum that this one can get. But the temperature, if you notice here, it's 57 degrees Celsius. Um, and it's again, exactly the same as earlier, actually one degree hotter, right? Earlier we maxed out at 56. I haven't really seen it way, uh, you know, uh, went to 57, but it's, uh, it's just hotter one degree Celsius. And for other chips, for the GPU memory, uh, 86, it's the same, it's exactly the same as earlier. Um, GPU hotspot is 77 and uh, that's actually hotter I think GPU hotspot earlier is to 75 and GPU temp if you notice it's actually going 58 at times right so it's kind of like reaching 58 57 that's hotter now because earlier we we're only getting 56 so vertical mount it looks like depending on your case right on my case this is actually giving me, giving me about two degree hotter temperature. And 
I'm probably gonna put it back to where it was, right? Because, you know, I kind of miss the RGB lights that my motherboard also has there. But yeah, it, I don't think this is worth it. Again, depending on your case, on my case here, I don't think it's worth it because I don't really see the RGB on the top anymore. And it's just a little bit hotter, right? I would prefer it if it's, if it only um, average around 55 degrees Celsius, right? like even one degree colder i would i would keep it right i will use it like that but it's just hotter right now so i don't know why it's probably turbulent a lot of air just stagnating inside so it's actually hotter and i don't like that so i'm going to put it back to what it was but yeah that's all for today guys let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts for a gpu bracket like this so I'll probably rock it for a couple of days like this, you know, but then I will definitely put it back to what it was because it's hotter, right? The intake fans on the bottom is actually not helping. I think it's just like pushing the air back to the chip, right? To the actual GPU. Those three fans are all intake, right? They're pushing air on the actual heatsink and then exhausting on the side, right? So from the side there and from the side below. The problem is, since I do have those intake fans, they're also blowing those uh, cold air inside. So they're they're essentially pushing the hot air that are trying to escape from the GPU back to the chip, right? Back to the GPU. So the only way now for the hot air to be exhausted, exhausted is on the top. Also on the, on the back, there's a pass through, right? So the hot air is trying to escape on the, pa on the back. However, we also have intake fan on the you know, on the side there, in the front, that is also pushing it back to the GPU. So I think there's a lot of hot air that cannot escape the GPU. That's why it's a little bit hotter, right? Just a, just a tiny bit hotter. So vertical mount, is not really worth it on my scenario. Again, depends on your case and your system, but on my case, it's not worth it. But that's all for today, guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions, any comments, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet, as you can see. I unbox and test a lot of um, devices like this, so it might help in your purchase decision. But that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe and see you on my next one. Peace.